My team is engaged in uh, next generation electronics. And in this case, we're taking uh, two semiconductors and at the nanoscale, engineering them to produce a new type of transistor, a silicon germanium transistor, which has two key pieces of functionality that don't presently exist. One, the ability to operate at very low temperatures, and two, the ability to operate unshielded in a radiation environment. Leveraging that, we can then redesign the way electronics is practiced in space. While it might not seem like it, the moon is actually a, a terrible place to be uh, from a human perspective. Uh, if I'm in the sunlight, I'm at 120 degrees Celsius, but if I'm suddenly in the shadow, in the dark, uh, now I'm at minus 180 degrees C below zero. And that freezes to death virtually anything you'd like to put there, including electronics. So if you look at the way that we went to the moon and the Apollo missions, uh, we obviously put a rover up on there in the later Apollo missions. The way we did that, because there was no such thing as an electronics technology that would operate on the surface of the moon, we uh, took a, a giant oven, literally, and buried all of the needed electronics inside that oven. And that's actually what's up on Mars now with the Mars rover. It's done exactly the same way. So that's sort of the business as usual model for NASA. Huge disadvantages in size, weight, power, uh, and reliability. And what we proposed was to uh, develop silicon germanium technology as, a, uh, as an electronics platform for doing out of the warm box uh, electronic systems. We had six university partners, three industry partners, uh, and a wide number of uh, collaborators. By the end of this five-year program, we ended up using uh, 82 students, graduate students. We demonstrated, A, that the technology could do what we said it did, and then importantly, we developed all of the infrastructure needed for anyone to do electronic design for these types of environments using what we developed. So some of the things that you would see in the lab downstairs would be specially designed cryogenic test systems that actually will take our electronics uh, down to very low temperatures, in this case about a minus 180 degrees C, so very, very cold, and allow us then to electrically exercise them to show that they continue to function across the temperature range for which they're intended. NASA was on board from minute one. Uh, they were uh, raved about the results at the end of the day. Uh, some of our silicon germanium components are up in Earth orbit right now, functioning you know, on the uh, International Space Station, just as a demonstration vehicle of what we want to do. So the next step will be to put this on a, you know, a Mars mission or a, a Saturn mission or into some uh, satellite system, whatever it would happen to go into. There's not a, a single uh, space mission for exploration or discovery that would be done uh, that wouldn't require this type of object in it. And that's actually kind of exciting because what we've done from a, a science and engineering and demonstration perspective could ultimately find its way on all sorts of uh, actual NASA missions.